Okay, this is uh, Georgie's uh, spring damper demonstration and let's just get on right in there and start playing it. I'm going to just check to make sure that the uh, XLC auto switch is switched off because that's going to slow you down if it's not. But other than that, let's just start playing. Okay, uh, and what we can do uh, now is we can kick the system. So I'm going to just kick the system like that and the spring damper's working. Uh, kick it again. It's just moving this base position. Each time we jolt that, it's just moving the base position. Uh, and that's exciting our spring damper system. Um, now, one thing that I think is uh, very interesting is the way we can change uh, parameters. Let's make a bigger mass and see what happens when we make it a bigger mass. You see the kind of natural frequency of the system is uh, slowed down there. And what we might do is maybe uh, take down the damping. So instead of decaying quite so fast, uh, the rate of decay now is going to be slower. Uh, because everything's live, everything's updating as we go along, then uh, you can actually play with this and uh, we could investigate something like um, resonance. So if we wanted to, we could uh, kick the whole thing off, kick it again and again, and you can see we're actually getting the whole system <laughs> to resonate now. Uh, so there we go, we're, we're investigating uh, resonance. Let's, let's damp all that down increasing this damping that should bring this that should slow the whole thing down very quickly we'll kick it off again so uh, there's a simulation it's all uh, really being worked from these calculations here that are clunking over um, pretty fast and that's why I switched off the XLC auto switch um, but this is a live spring damper system and it's going to bring the mathematics of simple harmonic motion to life in front of your eyes. Thanks for listening.